Good evening, everybody. We got here a 1v1 between Huang in the red and Lix in the blue. Let's get right into it. So Huang is playing under his Celts account, obviously playing as the Celts, as he so often does. Uh, we know what to expect, what is often coming out of that, and that is big aggression right into Castling. And then his enemy in the blue is Lix, playing as the Incas. Interesting choice here, one that we don't see too often in 1v1 battles, but can lead to some pretty lamey games and some uh, big back and forth, definitely, with their forward villager rushes. Uh, just missing that sheep, as he's already running forward with his scout, wanting to get as much visibility as possible, and he does actually pick up a sheep. We'll be running back, and I'm uh, not sure if the scout will even notice that, as uh, he is just pushing in deer with his scout. Yay. So we'll not be getting that sheep back at this point in time. Yay. So just a little bit of an advantage already Aye. from the forward from Lix, and I will start to speed it up as we go through the Dark Age, and here we go. The boar lure already on the way. He sees it's running away. And his scout is chasing after that boar as soon as possible. Obviously, in the fog of war, he will be able to see that boar running away. And Lix is trying to get away as quickly as possible before that scout of Huang runs Kid. forward. Okay. Think about Huang. You don't want to let him get an advantage because you know what's going to come out of it. And that is pure aggression. You've got to beat him economically if you plan to beat him at all. Lex, of course, being a strong enough player to pretty much beat almost anybody in the community. And uh, definitely Huang being one of those. Great timing on the boar lure. Sheep is just finished up and he will be able to take out the boar. Obviously able to fit that eagle scout in the town center. Just an added bonus that you do get with the eagles versus the normal scout cavalry. And smartly... Lix is pushing his deer or his sheep right into the town center so that he's not risk risking losing them to the scout running by. And so speeding a little bit back up as the two are just starting to mass up as much as possible. Look at the food count for Lix. He's got these two boars. He's still got eight sheep. That is insanity right there, and in comparison, we do see already Huang mm. having to put down farms on his last sheep, going over to collect the deer that weren't pushed in. So lots of wasted time. Kid? Getting Loom will be dropping that barracks, but Lix Kid. already on the way up. So what is the play going to be? Kid. Well... We'll just see. At this point Four in time, this much food underneath the town center. Lix might be wanting to go aggressive. And yes, we do see yeah. six villagers already going forward. Love, Obviously, honey. not quite as strong as they will be in future ages. Kid. With the upgrades that uh, yeah. Lix will be able to get in on them. But... Still quite significant yeah. building houses along the way just to keep them occupied. Forgera. But it is a risky strategy. Obviously, with a forward, you are idling your villagers. You have to basically guarantee that you're doing some sort of damage. And so with these three militia, that will add that little bit of extra protection for him. And it will be able to fight back against Huang's militia. That uh, are almost expected at this point in time. Want to know where this uh, tower is going to be placed once the feudal age is reached? Because denying Barry, sure, that's good, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what exactly it is that Lix wants to deny of the enemy. I don't think he realized just how far ahead to feudal he would have been. He can actually be a little bit more aggressive with this tower, to be quite honest, but playing it safe, building that tower on the berries that will range it. And, of course, that tower will go up, blocking in with just that one villager. And that's four militia 
five militia plus a scout and uh, there's no way Huang can win that fight especially once this tower goes up which it is very close to being up might be battered down actually interesting choice but with the tower fire Huang forced to run away not really any deaths out of that so Lots of weakened villagers on both sides, but now that Man at Arms is in for the Feudal Age player, there is that little advantage, and Lix now with enough for another tower, he will be dropping that right on the berries, like directly on the berries. As Huang has a very, very weak economy right now. Sitting with low resources all around, which is expected at this point in time, but once a couple of archers come out, that will be able to cause damage to the Man at Arms just a little bit of micro and oh. those archers can do quite a bit Kid? interesting of licks not to initially engage against these militia and yeah he will engage take out the militia fairly quickly no Mark problem it. at all man of arms just so much stronger than the militia are and he will be able to take them out now that there's this Have archer out. and weak man at arms the archer will turn the tides of the battle Come at you, it. and Jay. already only one man at arms remaining as an archery range is now being dropped for the Inca player. Tower shooting down the town center. That's not going to go down anytime soon, but it is just that added nuisance. Can't collect from these farms, can't be uh, collecting from these berries, and even this gold. Not collectible. And immediately we do see archers out, not skirmishers from the Inca player and yeah. Lix wanting to move around and drop what I'm assuming is another tower. He does have the stone for it, so he will be able to drop it. If he could deny this stone, even that stone, that will just put a stranglehold on Bong as uh, yeah. he is starting to mass up some archers yeah. but not quite in a position to engage. Of course, this Watchtower will likely go up, but with three archers on his face, he might have to desert it. He does. Until he has an army of his own, and that tower is going to be battered down immediately. That is the strength of archers when the enemy has nothing in response. So that tower will have to be deleted to get some sort of resources back. Hopefully Lix remembers to before it's too late, as we are down, down... And it looks like it was deleted. That is good. So the resources are back in the queue for Lix. Yum. And he will try it once again. Let's see where he places it just a little bit closer this time. And that will be able to go up now with the extra archers and a skirm on his side. Two skirmishers now. But there are a mass of archers. You know, Huang, one of the few players that will choose to go for archers as Celts. He'll go for anything, really. And a villager very weak there does go down. Maybe even another villager. That is well worth it. These skirmishers and archer definitely getting their worth. Only losing one archer so far. And this archer will be able to come back and heal up a little bit. And still getting a couple villager picks out of that. So Lix with the three villager lead, but there are archers now coming to his base and look at how wide open he is. This is the problem with the forward. You put all of your thought into the forward. There are no military buildings but a barracks at home and everything in his economy is weak and vulnerable. One villager down already. Another one could go down right here. And it does. That is two villagers down just like that, plus all of this waste. Massive. A tower being forced down on the wood line that will protect the gold as well, which is always nice. And we'll get a couple of shots off at the archers, but doesn't take out any with the tower, so still a little bit vulnerable there. But he's able to collect the stone in the front and continue on with his push. Now, skirmishers are going to be able to pick off these archers little by little. Three skirmishers versus the six weak archers. That might be enough. Uh, just two, obviously a different story. But 
here. Huang, you don't even want to be engaging against that. You know that the Castle Age is on the way, and Castle Age, early castle, is where he thrives. Always wanting to get to that point so that he can get those advantages. And look at this economy. Just complete shambles. We've got how many on gold, not deciding what he wants to do with them, but dropping the stable. So we will see knights. These skirmishers are good as dead when those knights come out. Even this tower should be walled in ahead of time. Archers and skirmishers, very good combination in the feudal age, not that great in castle. And the skirmisher does catch that the villagers are going forward and suddenly Lix is thinking what am I going to do about this army? Militarily both at 7 but Lix has his army split up in just skirmishers at this point in time and will be battered down and we do see knights coming out for the Celt player and eagle coming out as well as the first defense that will help out his villagers as well as the infantry that he does decide to make and a barracks going on at home but there is you guessed it right a siege workshop from Huang in his Celts account this is what we expect long term from him almost every time as a tower going up on the uh, actual siege workshop and you know what? Wong says, great, you got a tower? I'll just build a battering ram. I'm not going to go for a mangonel like you expected. I'm just going to do the battering ram and batter it down immediately. So 94% of the way out. And already knights are on the field. So more watchtowers having to be placed by licks. These villagers luckily able to collect the stone of the enemy. Won't be long until this uh, this little bit of defense that Lix has will be dead to the knights. This tower being out of range of the other towers, so another one being forced down for Lix. This is a disaster all of a sudden because he is nowhere near the next age. If you look at his resources, 39 food, and he has scorpions, he has battering rams, and he has knights all in his base not just at the front of it inside the base this watchtower will be going down to the knights and battering ram skirmisher even getting a couple of shots off and look at those three scorpions just doing so much work against the villagers sure they're inca villagers but that only accounts for so much when there's knights and siege on the field at this point in time, there is nothing really that Lix can do but hope to hold off long enough. But the longer this lasts, the stronger Fong's going to be. Because look at this. More and more knights. More and more siege running across into the economy. These scorpions are just so devastating to any infantry. And that infantry could even include Inca villagers. So when the response has to be eagles, it's never a good situation when you're up against scorpions. Scorpion knight eagles are not the choice, but there is no other option for licks. As his villagers are falling, he had a big villager lead before. That is slipping away quickly, very quickly, as he now only has a two villager lead. He is going for a last ditch attempt to send archers into the back, but sending them one at a time. They can just be hit down by those little villagers, and that is it. Lix calls the GG. There is nothing left for his economy.